Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring another love read. Today we're going to take a look and see what your special person's next move is going to be towards you and or this connection. We're just going to dive on now and do a quick shuffle. I have pre-shuffled these cards but I'm just going to do another one for the purposes of this video. And as I do this guys, let me mention that this reading is specific to all earth signs taurus virgo capricorn if you have clicked on this reading then i do believe that there is a message waiting here for you and we're going to take a look and see what action or what your person's next move is going to be towards you as always, guys, these readings on the channel are for entertainment only, meaning that some of the messages may or may not resonate. If you find that it does speak to you, um, then feel free to hit that like button to let me know. Okay, don't forget to subscribe as well. In doing so, you will uh, receive notification updates of every time I post or release a new video here on the channel which is usually once a week okay sometimes twice a week but you need to be subscribed guys and for those of you returning welcome everybody it's so good to have you here i really am super grateful and appreciative of all the love and support that you give here to the channel the three cards coming through, which we will later expand and clarify, are the Ace of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles. So I feel here for you guys um, with the Ace of Swords that your person wants to come in and speak up. They want to speak their truth. They want to maybe clear the air and give you a clear understanding of how they really feel. This person wants to tell you um, or maybe share with you or give insight that they want to tie the knot here. I'm looking at this figure eight, okay? For some of you, they want to tie the knot, meaning uh, possibly marriage. There may be a conversation around marriage or, um, you know, coming into a serious relationship with each other, maybe taking your relationship from just casual dating into something more serious. They want to come into some kind of a merge here with you and they want to speak about it. So if you have recently uh, been feeling a little confused around this person's intentions um, or even around their feelings, I feel like this person's coming in to give you a clear understanding on exactly what it is that they want. And I feel what they want here is to come into some kind of partnership or connection with you. Like I said, for some of you, they want to tie the knot. Maybe they want to move in together with you. Maybe they want to make it exclusive and take it to, you know, Facebook or Instagram and they want to, you know, update their relationship status. Okay. This is further reinforced by the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles, to me, you can see this merge happening. We've got two pentacles here. We've got two pentacles. And there's these lines that are kind of just like joining all of these four pentacles together. So for some of you, this person wants to merge their finances here with you. So for some of you, this person's next move is to merge their finances with you. Okay, now this may be to like consolidate your bank accounts and just, you know, live off one bank account where you, yeah, you put all of your funds into one account and you you take money out of the same account and you've got the same credit card, they've got the same credit card. For others of you, this person, um, their next move might be to say, let's move in together and let's go 50-50 with the rent. Let's go 50-50 with the mortgage. Let's go 50-50 with the car loan. For others of you, this Four of Pentacles could speak to building or 
um, saving, I should say, saving is a better word, saving for uh, an engagement party, saving for uh, a marriage, a wedding, save the date here. But I feel Four of Pentacles is about saving your finances or saving money. So there's this beautiful merge that they want to take, um, that they want to have with you here. But I feel like it's around finances. It could be in and around the home as well. So if you are living in separate homes, okay, they, they want to let's move in together. Let's just like live in the same house. Let's live in the same unit instead of living separately and kind of going back and forth and um, going into each other's places. Let's merge these places and let's live together as one. I hope that makes sense, guys. Okay, so their next move with you is the Six of Pentacles. So if I look at the Six of Pentacles, it looks like a branch with pentacles, you know, hanging off. So I feel that what they want to do is they want to grow with you here. See this branch, it's kind of like ascending up higher. So they kind of want to build and grow a life with you here. That's their next move. They want to build a life with you. They want to build a business with you. They want to build a family with you. And we can see perhaps that's already sort of starting to take shape. I feel the Six of Pentacles represents balance in a way where you both want this. It's not just one-sided. I feel like it's going to be reciprocated because three pentacles here, three pentacles here creates this beautiful balance. Six of Pentacles to me represents love and harmony in love, harmony in relationship where you're both willing to grow and build on or expand on what you already have. Daughter of Swords kind of just reconfirms to me that this person wants to speak up. The Daughter of Swords speaks to the air energy, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So you may be dealing with an air sign. Okay, now the Daughter of Swords also is an energy of someone who has questions. So if you have questions about your next move or your next step or what direction you should take in this relationship, your special person wants to come in and clear the air. They want to let you know and make it known exactly what intentions they have in and around whatever question that you pose their way. Okay, so the Daughter of Swords is a card of curiosity. So if you're feeling curious and you have questions and you're coming in asking your special person questions, they, they want to they wanna express exactly what it is that they want. They want you to have a clear understanding of their plans as well. The Emperor, wow, what a magical reading, you guys. Seriously, the Emperor represents Aries energy. But look at this tree. This is masculine energy. For some of you, you are dealing with a strong masculine figure. You are dealing with someone who has... I need to articulate this in a very clear way. There's a strong leadership coming through this emperor. I feel like your special person wants to lead and steer this connection and this relationship into a much more um, solid direction, okay? Because this emperor is kind of like at the bottom underneath this four of pentacles. And four of pentacles represents some kind of a foundation, so the action they want to take towards you and all this connection is to know that you can lean on them. Look at this tree. This tree is strong. This tree's roots are firmly planted in the ground, which is producing this strong, healthy tree. Now, they want you to know that their intentions in this relationship or connection is solid. 
They're not going anywhere and they want you to know that you can lean on them. This tree, like the wind can come along and, and move this tree about and it will bend with the wind, but it's not going to fall down. This emperor knows exactly where he wants to be. And he wants to be building this strong, solid foundation with you. I feel through consolidating finances or, yeah, just merging your lives together. This is someone who's looking for marriage or something very serious, by the way. Ten of Swords. The Ten speaks to painful endings. The Ten of Swords specifically speaks to painful endings. Perhaps your special person has gone through something very painful um, of late. Okay, um, maybe produced by their own stubbornness. I mean, I am looking at this bull. You could be connecting to a Taurus. Okay. But I feel maybe this message is specifically for Taurus or for those of you connecting with the Taurus. But I feel that these Ten Swords are breaking down this person's rigidity or, or stubbornness. And although it may be painful for them to accept defeat... They know it's for the best because when they accept this painful ending or when they can accept they have been stubborn in a situation, then they know that they can expand and grow on this connection with you here because it's sitting directly underneath this six of pentacles, which is the tree, which is a branch that is giving life, that's creating life. So your special person knows that when they can surrender, okay, and just um, maybe change their views or, or stop being so stubborn or rigid about their ideas or their thoughts on things and just work with you and come to some kind of compromise or meet in the middle is when they know that this relationship can grow and flourish, it's when they know they can build with you now. So there we have it, guys. They're your messages. Hopefully this resonated. And don't forget to give us a like, okay, if it spoke to you. And until next time, take care. Bye for now.